and a half horsepower engine, aluminum rims with independent suspension, four wheel servo drive disc brakes. It's red. <laughs> hey guys! Oh, Wow! You look uh, different. Hot day tonight with a clown. Go ahead and laugh, but I just got us 10 bucks closer to buying that go-kart. Oh. Go for a beauty college is paying people to be their practice dummy. My cousin Chewy goes there. You know, for his finally trimmed my grandmother's mustache. Went through three pairs of scissors, but he got most of it. Man, I can't wait till we get that go-kart. Oh, I do not hear I know. All right, time to kick in. I made 40 bucks by visiting my great aunt Betty. Every time I go, she thinks it's my birthday and gives me money. I went four times yesterday. And I went twice. Cindy Connors gave me 10 bucks to stop asking her out in front of her boyfriend. <laughs> Someone put an IOU in here. Took five bucks to buy a foot long at Captain Corn Dogs. It's dope, yo. Woo. <laughs> we'll do something like that. <laughs> Dude, come on, Jerry. You're the only one who hasn't contributed to the go kart fund. Well, I don't have the talent to make money. I even tried selling doors door to door. You know how hard it is to find a house without a door? <laughs> You guys are never gonna guess how I just made ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> practice found me at the Wolfer Beauty College? No, I sold my old golf shoes. What's this about a beauty college? <laughs> Tell me stays between us. I got a pretzel for Mr. Nelson in the food court the other day, and I'm not sure I paid for it. Well, I can tell you right now that you didn't. <laughs> I didn't? No. You obviously have a guilty conscience. It's eating you up. Eddie, we gotta fix this. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. Gotta save Eddie from a lifetime of crime and incarceration. <laughs> Jerry put any money in yet? I haven't seen Jerry in two days. Right, guys, we were pretty rough on him. He's probably embarrassed he can't kick in enough for the go-kart. to go solo. Two days ago, you couldn't go solo on a gumball. Well, that was before I got a job delivering meatballs for the Meatball King. <laughs> Gotta take this. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told you three times. I delivered the thing to the guy at the place. <laughs> okay, okay. 
You know what, dog? Uh, why don't you go get yourself fixed up? That's it. <laughs> you're learning the lesson that crime doesn't pay. Okay. Mr. Nelson, I took a pretzel yesterday, and I don't think I paid for it. You sweet, sweet, brave boy. Here's five dollars. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to teach him the lesson that crime doesn't pay, and you are literally paying him. <laughs> to teach him that if you're honest and tell the truth, you should be rewarded. Not after stealing. The truth conquers all, little man. <laughs> oh, oh, no, okay. I, I guess if we're telling the truth here, then I thought maybe you would like to know that everyone in the mall thinks your pretzels are harder than your little wooden shoes. <laughs> He just sucker pretzels me! It's okay, Rudy, let it go! I still cannot believe that Jerry bought our go-kart. This goes way beyond the go-kart. Ever since he started working for the Meatball King, he's been a whole different person. If he calls me doll one more time, I'm gonna pummel him. <laughs> To falafel food. Oh, holy ganoush. I know, Phil. My hair looks hideous. I can fix this. I've seen worse. <laughs> you mind if my hands dance with your har? Phil, do you even know anything about har? <laughs> Don't you worry, baby. I know what I'm doing. I'm frosting Tootsie's tips as we speak. <laughs> No, Tootsie, you're not ready yet. Five more minutes. Back under the lamps. Go, 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 go. Phil, you've got a customer. Uh, hello, Mr. Dirk. What bring you around to the town? It's time to pay your bill. Uh, please, I need more time. No, you're out of time, and I ain't playing games. Games? I love playing games. Let's play hiding and seeking. I'm going to hide. And... All right, that's it. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> He collect the money for the meatballs that I do not need, but I am forced to buy. From who? The meatball king. The meatball king? <laughs> That's Jerry's boss. <laughs> oh, great, Tootsie. Now, why would such a good little goat eat her tips? And her timer. <laughs> So do you think you can help teach you out of your lesson? You know, I'm not even 100% sure I actually... Shut it, punk! <laughs> Don't you worry, Rudy. The next time you see this one, he'll be what we call scared straight. <laughs> so, Jerry... Tell the Meatball King everything you know about Falafel Phil. Okay, let's see. Phil, a uh, really weird accent. I think he's from Minnesota. <laughs> uh, he loves Tootsie. Oh, and on his left foot, it's all big toes. <laughs> Whoa, go back. Who's this Tootsie? Oh, his goat. 
They're tight, yo. <laughs> you hear that, Dirk? Phil loves his goat. <laughs> well, hearing about Phil gives me the courage to confess my dirty little secret. My left foot is a hand. <laughs> The twitching stopped. I think the swelling's finally starting to go down. How's it look? <laughs> yeah, maybe a couple more minutes. <laughs> Is Jerry in here? Yeah, he's in the locker room. <laughs> um, what are you wearing? Custom made gi. My new boss got it for me. Check it. That is the tackiest gi I've ever seen. I mean, where would one even go to buy such a thing? In a medium. <laughs> Jerry, your new boss is forcing people to buy meatballs. He's a criminal. Sure he is. You know what? You guys are just jealous because I've got the Meatball King's Stone Tootsie. What? what? Meat? Give me my money or the goat gets it. The Meatball King. Well, that doesn't prove anything. You know how many Meatball Kings there are in the world? He took Tootsie. You know how many Tootsies there are in Jerry! the world? I get it. I'm working for a criminal. <laughs> That's right, Officer. Tootsie's a goat. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, then, thanks. Take care. Yeah, uh, they're not gonna help us. Oh, I'll never see my Tootsie ever again! <laughs> it's okay, Phil. Let's look at her photo album again. Yeah? Okay. Oh, this is my favorite. It's from her bag. Mitzvah. Man, this is all my fault. I just saw an opportunity to make some really good money, but I didn't realize what I was doing. Oh, okay, I must figure out the way to pay this ransom. And then what? You'll be back to overpaying for meatballs that you don't need. Guys, we have to stop him. But how? Yeah. It's not like I can just stick my phone onto my chest, go into the Meatball King's office, record his confession, then take the evidence to the police department. Do you guys really think this will work? Absolutely. We'll record the whole confession here at the dojo. Got it. Come on, baby. Oh, Cindy Myers. Gotta take this. Take a look around. Mm -hmm. It's a little cramped. Oh, you think it's cramped now? Wait till you meet your cellmate. What's up? Fresh meat. I'm Norma. <laughs> Let me give you a little survival tip, huh? When we get down to the mess hall, if Gert asks for your oyster crackers, take it from me. Give them up. <laughs> uh, Joan? Joan ain't here. <laughs> Well, when you see her, tell her she just the keys out with a uniform. Oh, when I see her, I certainly... Holy hell! It's 
It's going to be a few minutes. The Meatball King's on the phone with the big boss, the Schnaz. <laughs> schnaz? That's a funny name, man. Hey, how come I've never seen the Schnaz? Because no one's ever seen him. All we know is he's got a big nose that covers half his mustache. And the only time he shows up is when it's your time to go. Go where? <laughs> you know, go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I still don't know where anyone's going. <laughs> Okay, boss. He'll see you now. Okay. I'm going in. What do you want to see me about, Jerry? I'm busy. Uh, well, you know, I was, uh... I was just in the neighborhood, and I was wondering what your thoughts are on, you know, crime and all the other stuff. Particularly vis-a-vis, -vis, uh, you know, goat stealing. And before you answer, can you please state your full name? <laughs> Jerry, I don't have a lot of time for this. Is there a reason why you're here? Yeah. There is, King. I know you goat that tootsie, and I was the one who told you about her. I want a piece of the action. Oh, no, we got disconnected. Uh, what we should do? <laughs> call him back? Yeah, 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 call him back. You're so smart. <laughs> so there you have it. Every detail of my life a crime. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> Where's that coming from? My 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 soul. <laughs> it's just me. It's getting a little hot in here, right? <laughs> This receipt from the pretzel kiosk. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> you know what this means? I'm an innocent man. Oh yeah, yeah, we're all innocent. We gotta bust out of here, Eddie. I'm gonna do something I saw in a cartoon once. I'm gonna pick that lock with my tongue. <laughs> Just before I almost burst into flames, I ran through the car wash where I realized two things. One, you know that blue dryer at the end? It can literally blow your freckles off. <laughs> and two, the Meepo King was talking to his boss on the phone today, and he was scared to death of him. How does that help us? Well, he's never seen the guy. They call him the Schnaz. Why do they call him that? Because he's got one gnarly looking honker. <laughs> what? Glad 
to see you came to your senses. You got my money? You got my goat? Can you see she's right there? <laughs> Jerry, shouldn't you be making a delivery? I'm done with deliveries. When I took a job with you, I didn't know what kind of person you were. But I do now. What are you doing here with <laughs> Goat Boy? Goat Boy's a friend of mine. In fact, he's got lots of friends. Some you might even know. Oh, yeah? Like who? The Schnoz. <laughs> I would have been here earlier, but I got lost in all this fog. I swear on my mama's meatballs. If I knew Phil was a friend of yours, I would have never disrespected him. Dirk, give him the goat. <laughs> Tootsie, welcome back to the family. <laughs> Let's go, Tootsie. You don't know how lucky you are that not a hair on Tootsie's the good ate my fake mustache, didn't it? <laughs> Good luck, kid. <laughs> Bye, Norma. Can't believe you did this to me, Jerry. I treated you like a son. You were like family. You're not my family. These people are my family. All I know is your family's crazy. <laughs> Let's get out of here, guys. Oh, Rudy, I found my receipt. I did pay for that pretzel. All right, let's see it. Oh, I don't have it. Joan ate it. Here we go. First you steal, and now you're lying. I got a guy that deals with liars. I just want to say how sorry I am. I let the whole job thing get to my head, and money should never be more important than friendship. You're right. But in the end, you were the one who came up with the plan to get Tootsie back, and it all worked out. And on top of that, you got yourself a go-kart. No. We got a go-kart. <laughs> no. There it is. Officer, you're probably wondering why I was speeding, wearing a prison jumpsuit, and driving a tiny stolen car. <laughs> well, I should tell you that I left my driver's license on the floor just outside the jail cell I broke out. But, whoa, whoa, easy there, big fella. Hey, was that your motorcycle back there? I think you have a flat tire. <laughs> Should have gassed up. <laughs> Chicken it. Welcome 
the greatest basketball team ever assembled. The world famous Harlem Globetrotters. Holy Christmas, that's their hair. <laughs> Can you guys show us a little something? <laughs> Last time I did that, I pulled something in my bathing suit area. Can the Wasabi Warriors top the Harlem Globetrotters? Kicking it. Brand new next Monday night at 8, 7 central on Disney XD. That boy was going to touch my scampi.